Now in this video of language integrated query, we are going to cover set operators. Basically in mathematics as well, we have gone through some set operators like union, intersect and some others. Similarly, here in link statement, if we have multiple sequences, so out of the data which we are getting through those two sequences, we can perform the set operations. So in this video, we are going to see the practical implementation of the set operators like union, intersect, accept and others. So let's start the practical implementation now. now here in the set operator, I'll start with the union. As here you can see, I'm using the same list of employees which we were using in our previous videos. And here in the query, what I have done is I have just taken two queries and used the union operator with them. So in the first part of my query, what I'm doing is I'm selecting the name and salary of the employees whose salary is greater than or equal to 50,000. And similarly, in the second list, I'm getting all the records, means the name and salary of all the records who are earning less than or equal to 50,000. So as here you can see, after that, in the, for both the operators, you must get the same column name and I have used the union operator for them. So as you can consider, in the two conditions like greater than or equal to 50,000 or less than or equal to 50,000 in this 50,000 amount rupees employee will be common in both the queries. But since we are using the union, it will remove the duplicacy from the output. As when I will execute this, I will get that common employee of earning 50,000 for only one time. All right. So this is how your union operator will work. It will merge the output from both the queries and will remove the duplicacy. But here we have already learned the concat operator in the concatenation operators chapter where it was also doing the same thing. But the concat will not remove the duplicate records as here you can see in the output I am getting Mohit for two times that is Mohit 50,000 Mohit 50,000. All right, because the employee of salary 50,000 will be common for both the statements. Now, what I'll do, I will use another operator called intersect. So in intersect, the common records from both the queries will be displayed as here. If I will remove this condition and then in that particular case, only the common records will be displayed. For example, here, I'm getting all the employees with the name and salary where here I'll get only those employees who are earning less than or equal to 50,000. So when I will execute here, you will only get the common employees who are in both the lists. So obviously the employees who are earning less than or equal to 50,000 will be the common one. Similarly, if I will not remove the condition, then the employee with the salary 50,000 was a common factor in both the queries. So in that particular case, only that single record will be there in the output. All right. And then finally, we do have a operator called accept means all the records will become but except those who are here in this given list. So as here, you can see I only got the employees who are earning more than 50,000. Why? Because here I'm getting all the records who are earning more than 50,000. And here I'm getting all the records who are earning less than 50,000, including that common 50,000 one. So since I used except, so that common record who was earning more than 50,000 will also be excluded. All right. Otherwise, if it is not here, then 50,000 employee records should be there in the output. But since that one was here in the except in the second query, so that was also excluded and only the two records who are earning more than or equal to 50,000 except 50,000 was there in the output. So this is how you will you can start working with the set operators in link.